Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new let's play of Firewatch. We're in what oh, I'm describing as the calm before the Starfield storm as it is on the horizon now literally about a week away and uh, I've been thinking like oh, I probably should be playing another game because I'm playing Outer Wilds at the moment and it's all I'm playing and I was like I can't do this I need something else um, and uh, Firewatch just got added to Game uh, Pass and it's been on my list for well years and I was just like perfect I know it's a pretty quick game it's a pretty chill game perfect to fill this very small period before yeah the storm comes which actually is not only Starfield it's Lies of P which I'll probably do a playthrough of uh, on my channel not sure about Starfield yet because it might just be too big but maybe I'll just like mainline it do the main quests and just like call it that and then play plenty of it in my own time this game what do I know about it um the artistic director let's go with that um it's a guy called Ollie Moss and I already knew about him before this because he produced three fantastic Star Wars posters. Uh, if you haven't seen them, I highly recommend Googling Ollie Moss Star Wars posters. Um, very minimalist in design, but incredible. I actually have one of them, but it's uh, it's currently in kind of storage at my mum's place. Um, I do need to get that at some point. But yeah, really, really cool. So I'm expecting visually this game to be really cool. Um, I looked in the settings and I saw that there is a jog button. I have a feeling, and this is like way back when, I have a feeling that might have been patched in because people complained that you had to do a lot of walking. Um, but yeah, we're going to just basically just jump in. This all looks fine. It's very quiet right now, so I don't know if I've got the sound right. Actually, I normally bump it down a bit because it's normally a bit high. So we'll just do that and obviously smack our voices up because that's always good and sometimes they are quiet. Brightness is fine. Everything looks good. I don't know anything about this game apart from it should look beautiful and you can jog a bit. So let's go. Anticlimax. I've always thought we'd jump straight into the game. Okay. Uh, ah, there we go. Campo Santo presents. I think this is the only game they might have actually done, but I need to look into it. Colorado, older Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. Am I in control? I'm going to press. Yep. yep. He's about your age, uh, late 20s. Laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby um, Colorado University Boulder, maybe? Yeah. Uh, you, Henry, you, Henry, when our name is Henry, I'll drink with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. Uh, you, you're pretty. S so, what's your, you know, major? You say the word major and it smells like cause. You have an awkward smile. Uh, evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. Uh, she sniffs the air. Toxicology? <laughs> Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. It's as easy as that. You drunkenly approach a woman, and next thing you know, you're having a cheeseburger and your boyfriend and girlfriend. And we are in. Right. First things first. I bump up the air sensitivity a bit. A little bit. Oh no. Dang it. Dang it. Uh, that's a little bit of a shame. I would like the sensitivity to be a little bit higher. It's not there, is it? Volume seems an alright level. Okay, RT. Oh. S similar to the Outer Worlds is we can see our feet and arms, which is a very odd thing to watch. Uh, okay. Uh, pick that up. Nice. Okay. Um, all right. I have that. No. Okay. Um, yeah, I know nothing about nothing, nothing about this game. Is it a mystery? Is it just a slice of life? Is it a horror? 
the vibe I got was it's just a little quaint little yeah maybe it's just like a like a little love story you know let's go dark like what remains of Edith Finch which is another amazing game who knows is this our car and I jump I ooh, load our gear doesn't seem very secure you date for over a year she drives you absolutely nuts it's great you move in you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains you two drink beers out on the deck you drink beer just about anywhere life is good okay we're an alcoholic oh, this is where this is going life is good julia wants to get a dog it's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle eyed uh, German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while he's walking this dog. It's badass. Um, kind of scruffy and undersized, I think we're going to go with. She wants him, and yeah, if it's small. It might be the run to the litter, and we can give them a good home. Uh,. We have a dog called Bucket. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Ah. Uh. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9:30. The heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids. They're not very smart or good at match. Uh, good at much. Uh, I'm saying if you and I have some, um, uh, a couple of idiots. This is back in the 70s. So uh, are we? We're boomers, aren't we? So obviously we're going to have loads of kids. So yeah, let's have all the kids in the world. In that case, we probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be pretty screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Okay, now I wonder, I'm already sensing that maybe, oh, I've got my backpack, that, um, oh, little hat, put on, let's stick it on, um, I'm gonna have to see, right, uh, notes and documents are there, right, I assume it's gonna give like a good bit of a tutorial. Um, okay. You don't forget to check in. No fireworks. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Ooh, we've got bears. Uh, thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. It's primitive backcountry trail. Right. Uh, we've got a UR here. Okay, that's north. Ooh, supply drop under canyon. Hmm. Okay. Very calm, serene music. Enjoying it. I probably, 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 even just just inch that up a little. It's that it that it saved, didn't it? Yeah, good. Cool. Oh. 1980. It's Thursday night, and Julia's four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun time. You fight when she gets, uh, you fight when she gets between the sheets. Let's not get mad, but let's just ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about the evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. Trouble in paradise. A year later, Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. You, she draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like he, man. You, well, we're frolicking. Very nice. Ooh, look at this color. These are some great colors. Oh, yes. That is beautiful. Can I take screenshots in this game? Uh camera ah it's not working yet okay oh just the glow and the the uh, just the whole red brown palette 
Two fork fire lookout. Eight miles to go. Can I walk eight miles? A to climb over obstructions. All right. Oh, there it is. 1982. During the summers, you and, and uh, Julie enjoy walking bucket at night. It's a festival in town. It brings in uh, folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. Uh, the big bar fuck did a dog. Uh, Julie yells. Gets flustered and trouble speaking when she's in stress. Uh, you confront the attacker. Let's scare him away. You reach into your pockets like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all. Uh, you manage to scare all. Th you manage to scare all three of you. Oh, he runs away. Do you think I'll take him? Um, Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. Uh, you don't want to go that way either. From then uh, on, you walk by the river. I don't know whether these choices have an impact. Plans to have kids get well laid by work. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her to not take the job. No, 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 no. That's agree if she commutes back and forth. That's say if she commutes back and forth. You don't want to move Connecticut. Uh, she says that'd be hard, but she'll do it if you don't want to move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. Absolutely. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Oh, difficult. Julia is sent home from Yale and paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned uh, them to him just two days prior. Hmm. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. Yeah. You shouldn't make macaroni and drink wine. This is the healthy option. Uh... Ooh, after seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. It's 41. We both decide to keep it secret for now. Oh no, this is very sad. Oh no. I'm already just like, oh, this is going to be a sad game. Got my Reading Wing. Oh! That's me. That's me frolicking around. Bucket is getting older. Uh, Julia comments that it's a kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason. Has to be brought home by the police. She is de uh, devastated. Sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get to the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child, little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by uh, with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You dead? You spend your days following Julia around the house. Um, you count the seconds within two. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere in 24-hour care at home. It sits with you a couple of uh, months. He decides to move into a full-time care facility. I think, given who we are, we're going to try and take care of her ourselves. I have a feeling she's dead at this point. I go back now. Right. How do I get that journal out? There was a picture of us frolicking. We looked a vision of beauty. Um, looks like we can't go back this way. I guess we must have jumped down. Oh, and there's our little jog. Nice. But let's walk for now and just soak in this ambiance. Have a nice sip of tea as well as we go. Hmm. Great. Okay. Oh. We have a deer. A stag. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything. You can't do anything without her. 
she can't do anything without you. Aww. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, uh, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. Yeah. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, do it, uh, you worry about her getting up and walking around while she's gone. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. Yeah, we're not going to lock her in. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Bell uh, Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1am a couple of nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989, one night you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and taken into jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it all, but you uh, try to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They Then they tell you Julia's coming to live with them. You don't argue. You'll say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Uh, summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. So we don't visit. Oh dear. Into the lookout tower. So I'm guessing then this might be our job. Uh, what's this? These lights are just like hovering. Well, those ones are attached to something, but hmm. anyway. Ugh. A lot of story. A lot of depressing story. That's the old moon. Oh, that cloud. See that cloud? It almost looks like a painting. Yeah, this is beautiful. Turn on the power. Radio. Supplies for two forks. Stove. Nice. We have a cookbook. National Forest Sky book. We've got water. We have a book. Power. This. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Ah. Hello. Uh, hold LT to activate the radio. Uh, how do I, I mean, oh, wait, ah, there we go. Ugh. It's like, um, it says uh, there's a like button prompt down there to select dialogue. And I'm just like, what button is that? But it's the, uh, the D pad. Uh, um, hello, whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? <laughs> that's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Mm hmm. <laughs> You're rebelling against mom. You, uh, we'll go with the funny option. Okay. Uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Firewatch. Let's go. I don't know if I can fail this game. I guess we're just watching out for forest fires. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Okay. Um, let's pick up the photo of us tonight. Okay, let's not do that. 
Oh, playing with my wedding ring. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. Yeah. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh... Are compass. Are fucking fireworks? West. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. <laughs> like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. <laughs> Smart. Shut up. Oh, she seems nice. Maybe we can marry her now. Um... Uh, let's uh, examine this and realize, you know, what we've done and the terrible person we are. Uh, oh, man, I literally just chucked that. That's great. Um, can't open that. Fine cone. Oh, what am I doing this? Back. Can I put this, can I put this back properly? There we go. I do that so aggressively. Right, what am I doing? Uh, no. For sake, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to just... I wanted to see what else we've got in here. Flora of the Shoshone... Of the Shoshone poster. Um, what have we got? Spruce, cottonwood, yeah, aspen, birch, alder, mock orange, sagebrush. We've got four different types of thing. Um... We've got a calendar. I want to see. I think that says 89. Uh, zoom. Mm, that's the only zoom we've got there, isn't it? Um, uh, oh, yes. Okay. 1989. So it is current. It's not like years in the future. Okay. There's this weird examining thing that we're able to do. Uh I put this back. Okay, it's just going on the floor. Um, glass cleaner. Birds of roaming, singular mind. Okay. Can I pick that up? Um, the Singular Mind by Dr. Jonas Allard. Don't mind your mind alone. Um... Talks about the power of the solitary mind, so I guess it's like, you know, you were uh, Death Strikes Two, the Patriots, Birds of Wyoming. Okay, I think we're I think we're just good to go. Firefinders are weird thing. I don't think that exists in real life as a tech, but maybe it does. Uses infrared. Um, okay. West. Oh, west is this way. I'm already disorganized. Disorientated. Follow the fire. Oh, don't tell me I can't get down. Sick. Okay. All right. We got to stop some fireworks. We are moving very slowly here. Oh. 
Yes. We gotta run. Okay. Uh, it's this. One. Yeah, this way. Oh. Uh. Okay, so we're here. Which cache are we finding? Three oh six. Oh, that's just following the path west then. Wait. Right, so that's north. That's west. Why is this thing pointing this way? Is what I don't understand. But it's fine. I think this is the right way. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Uh, let's lower the map. Right. Let's go. Let's get some cardio in. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm going to slickly jump this. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, nearly there. Do I not carry any, like, bear... Um, bear mace with me at all? Uh, so, look. This... Wait, what's that? Oh, yeah. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of money from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's copy this information. Because that's important. Uh, what's this say? Ron, hey, man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lockout and put some stuff in this. Locked up, locked up, locked up his lookout and put some stuff in this box. Found one of those bars you liked hiking in the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Uh, do people lose their shit out people here? Lose their shit doing this job. There's a note that says a guy just left his post. It happens, yeah. You're not gonna pop your top, are you, Henry? I wasn't planning on it. Uh, let's take the note. Okay, pine cones. No, thank you. People just stuff these things with old food. That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, do I need this now? I'm eating it. I don't know why there's a pine cone in there. I'm picking it up. I'm picking it up and I'm launching it. Ah! No. Disappointing. Oh, I'll just say I found it. Rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Deal with whoever is setting off fireworks. And apparently, I'm not allowed to beat the shit out of them. Um. Okay, I think I saw back here there was like some rocks. Locked trail. Ooh. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm hmm Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Mm. Um, right, where am I trying to get to? Uh, that's the note from Dave, yeah. Uh, so let's have a look. I need to... I need to... I need to... I need to be able to see. I need to be able to... can't see. It sounds like it's coming from this way. Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from this way. Have a look. Oh, I can toggle jogging. Let's just toggle that on. This way. Is it this way? Uh, 
sounds like it's from this way. And over here. There we go. Did it by sight. Okay. Aha. Okay. Let's hope I have the upper body strength to get back. Not dead. <laughs> hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Wow. Sympathy. All right, who am I beating up? Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here, just a little away from the shale slide. Well, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west, without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. But you can explore later. And we. Okay, let's have a look. Where are we? Uh, I guess we're going to the lake. So, yeah. Alright. Let's go. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Don't know. Just stopped coming out. I'm kind of like trying to sense like any sort of like this mystery. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Um, I'm, I'm kind of like any sort of out ooh, beer any sort of ounce of mystery i'm kind of like uh kind of looking for uh it's like they're not coming anymore it's like why is the world ending a bunch of empty beer cans they threw them all over hell are you fucking serious yeah sure am i would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches feed away ha <laughs> i can uh so my my what do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. <laughs> what? You don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Hey, am I cleaning all this up then? We're cleaning up. I'm, I, I want to keep a clean park where everybody follows the rules. I think we're like some sort of park ranger. Who also kind of focuses on fires. Uh, okay. Staff. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Uh. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't <laughs> take into account just plain stupid, does it? They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Oh shit. Ferret or Irish? Uh, Ferret or Irish? It's a single malt. Yeah, let's, uh. There we Let's save that for later. Continue our alcoholism. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Oh, I'm having a great time later. We've got fireworks, we've got whiskey. I'm going to have a great time cleaning up some of this stuff. Oh. 
You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the main. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, yeah. We are cleaning this stuff up. Come on. Let's stomp this out. Oh. Well, I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. I like Delilah. Let's try and marry her. Is that an ending? Yeah, you know, Julia's great and everything, but she's in another country and, you know, ooh. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Oh, <sighs> oh here we go. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Let's have a prop. We need a proper exam of this. Oh, I can hear some music. Um. Oh. Uh, there are uh, panties. There are what? <laughs> I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're twelve. All right, let's exam. We need to examine these. These need a thorough examin. Oh, no. oh, okay. Ooh, another bra. There's a. Ooh. Yes. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? <laughs> Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone. But there's, you know. Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground <laughs> and do your job. Okay. Alright. Let's fully we need to fully examine these as well. Come on. Oh. Let me examine them. Can't do it. Alright. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Chelsea. Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Kick their stereo in. Go stereo. Whoa, hey, put that down. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. This guy's creepy, Chelsea. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Fuck it, it's going in the water. another firework and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh fuck you, psycho. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. There we go. Hey, that go okay? <laughs> I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with them, though. Seriously. No problem. Yeah, I mean, what else were we going to do? Come on. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at the map. Uh, Jesus, right. Uh, so I go east. Uh, I guess we can follow the river and then we'll head down. But I think that way might be blocked. Oh, well. Let's see what happens. Run, run, run. Oh. Let me go. So far, so good. First day on the job, and we have uh, destroyed some personal property. And uh, cleaned up, got some fireworks, got some whiskey. So I'm about to have a game. I have Ooh. a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, 
I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. <laughs> I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to. Uh, to oh no! I thought she was funny. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. This is the beginning of a. Oh, can you? Can you? Is, it, is there a crouch? Crouch, 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 crouch. No. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship, a blossoming relationship, potentially. We both like getting drunk. Fuck off, that's thunder. It's clear sky. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. <laughs> I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? I kind of would. Okay, we can go about that way. Nice. Um. Ah, open this up. One, two, three. Nice. What we got going on in here? Let's take this information. Oh. Oh, I wanted to report. I wanted to report that shit. Should always do it. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers, and secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Alright. Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, I think this is definitely the way I was supposed to go because it's given us the flashlight. Nice. Hey. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. Hmm. But in the cave... I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, <laughs> fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Play with the cave's echo. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> oh, we do, oh, already, this banter between us is so good. Hello? It didn't echo. Oh! Shit, terrible. Uh, I keep I'm just getting used to all these buttons. Right, where? what's going on here? Okay, so this is definitely the way back we go. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe it's mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Hmm. Oh, hello. Climbing this, no problem. Well, that'll be the storm, I reckon. Okay, let's carry on. I'm really enjoying this game. Very, very peaceful, very relaxing. But just a little bit of mystery and 
Empty. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. Haunted. It? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come <laughs> and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Do I have a gun or a knife, though? Because I'm a little bit undefended. Jump. Nice. Right, where are I? I am jogging a lot in this now. He was here. Creepy guy. Ooh. Gonna push us off. Climb these. Gonna be right here. No. I don't know if this was the right way to go doing all this climbing. Hmm. Are there gonna be any jump scares in this game, I wonder? No, we do it. Okay, nice. Let's go south, which is this way. Oh my god. Oh, we're definitely getting kicked off this, surely. We're good at climbing. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. That's our fingers broken, surely. <laughs> uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Go. Oh. And... We are here. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. <laughs> uh. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Uh, oh, oh, what's going on with this? There we go. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. <laughs> feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. <laughs> be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. All right, let's use it. Get in there. Get... What's that? Oh, a little baseball. Come on, into the toilet. Damn it. No, come on. This is really disappointing. Aim here. Yay! Brilliant. That was great. Um, right. Ooh, what's this wooden sign? <laughs> uh, how do I now? Wait. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest <laughs> Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. <laughs> uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? 
butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo <laughs> butts? Oh man, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah, well, it's still better than Forest Burns. All right, fuck you, Forest Burns. Oh. Well, is there anything else? Do cistern something and a spigot. Where do I have a shower? Oh well. What the fuck? Why is my typewriter out here? Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Oh, I'm being burgled. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. It's the, it's the girls. Shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. There's glass everywhere. It's the girls. Fuck oh, nice how they beat me back, though. was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. <laughs> yes. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Uh, oh, day two. Um, it could be that creepy guy. They're probably like an old one of whatever we are. Uh, forest. Uh, hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's get my hat. Put my special hat on. Um, interesting. Under the fireworks. Wait, confiscate old. I've already confiscated them. 
Uh, it probably wasn't the girls. I don't think they could have they'd have had to have gotten dressed and be, but it's not, it's not that. Interesting. It's an interesting turn of events. Uh right. Can I put stuff back like neatly anywhere? Yes. Let's just tidy this place up a bit. Oh, that looks cold. Um Right, now. Okay, I'm probably gonna win the I'm just gonna win the episode now. I'm just tidying up my place. Uh how does this work? Save game? Nice. Oh, that brings episode one, day one, to an end. Um, I stuck this in on how long to be, and it was like very, very short. So I think this, I don't know if I'm going to do like a day, an episode, or we'll see. But there's already a little bit of mystery. And I'm already thinking like, is everything in our head? Are we, you know, in the midst of a breakdown? Have you imagined all this? Uh, clearly, I'm just, yeah. Like, after playing, like, Subnautica and Outer Wilds, I'm like, there's mystery in everywhere. We need to figure everything out. And it might just be very simple. And it's just a story. But already, like, that guy may have broken in here. Who who knows? Can I read any of this stuff? Oh, here we go. I'll read this and then we'll end the episode. May 2nd, 1989. I think it's going to be a real problem. Without making uh, this a list of all that's happening all of the time. Wait. Sleep is going to be a real problem without making this a list of all that's happening all of the time for Henry from the future. This was the night the tower got turned over and your sheets were gone. Don't just figure that out today because last night wasn't good and I'm fucking freezing. I was 100% sure I wouldn't have any Jules dreams out here since I was sleeping in a new place and everything was sure. Uh, but sure enough, during the 30 minutes I fell asleep around 5am, there we were back on the beach in Melbourne. Uh... There's that moment where I know it's been coming, where I know the water's going to cup up and up, and I think I'm going to spew, uh, or my heart's going to stop or nothing. But this time I woke up before anything happened. But maybe that's progress. And uh, my fingers crossed that I would just be dreaming about squirrels and mountains and trees and shit, but what are you going to do? Now, how much? I'll save that for later. Uh, just on my person. Whoops. Um, okay, anything else I can interact with? No. Well, that brings episode one to a, a close. Still don't know what the story is going to be in this game. Like I say, is it a slice of life? Is it a mystery? We've got a broken window, and that's about it. And we may or may not be an alcoholic. Um, who knows? But thank you very much for watching episode one. Interest I'm really interested to see where this goes. And like I say, if not just for that, look at that beautiful, beautiful sun rise. Oh, hang on a second. Well, let's just quickly... No, let's not do that. I'll see if I can remember that for the next episode because um, because I've saved it, so I'd have to do it again. Uh, is this block actually? Oh, it's going in real time. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> Complete. Just ignore me. I thought for a second that was. It's, it's even set. It even says it's broken. I'm going mad. Thank you very much for this, watching this episode, uh, and I will see you for episode two, day two, where. We're going to go and fix some comms. Uh, thank you very much for watching.